Hello everyone and welcome back to, well, to Nowhere Land as we are right now. Of course, it's the harbor area of uh, Crown Falls right now, which is still very basic looking, isn't it? And it's not going to change in this episode, don't worry about that. That was rather a weak introduction to my city once more, but in my city we are going to have some changes now. Um, the first one is I want to get rid of all of these grain farms here. Reason for that is they're taking up so much space that by now I cannot expand my city anymore as well. This area is reserved for me for now for the old town um, DLC that is coming out in December and right now um, we have yeah no way anymore of expanding that city and that means I do need to get rid of them. However, grain farms generally just take up a lot of space right in Ketester. I don't want to uh, take up that space, unfortunately. In Shotix, we don't even have that much space as I require it for my hops plantations. So, how do we get rid of them? Well, basically by the Docklands, of course. And for that, let's go ahead. We do have, we do expect to buy in five minutes. Uh, I think on, yeah, on grain, we are completely full at the moment anyway. Uh, let's quickly check out our consumption rates for grain. It is at 35, uh, 34. That means around 340, 350. Let's make it 700. Let's make it 800 in 20 minutes so to have a bit of a buffer in there as well so 800 grain i need to get in and that is around yeah uh, let's see 180 yeah around 180 sewing machines my sewing machines over a surplus is 11 uh, that means 200 that means 220 yeah let's make it 220 surplus that we have right now and in that case i should easily afford this we don't need the potatoes there by the way the potatoes are coming in with the the soap anyway and we're going to change that as well Ceasefire here a bit up has ended. so so far so good and with that we would have now all the grain in the world that we get from the sewing machines and sewing machines will also get buffed a bit let's yeah, let's do it. Uh, we do get a lot of stuff back with that and also lots of workforce really, but also lots of space. We just doubled our farmer workforce once more. It's also looking pretty, right? And yeah, with that we only have now our little bread industry up and running over there that we probably should upgrade now the warehouses because now the flour mills also get to the warehouses to get the grain. Previously, the grain was transported to them by the farms and now they have to get it from the warehouses. That means, of course, more stress on the on the warehouses that we have. And I definitely should just add a few more. We're going to remodel that um, soon. Now, also what is changing here, of course, is that the, the, the beer industry also has higher traffic because the malt houses are also now going to the warehouses directly to get their, their grain, essentially. And that means more traffic for these guys. Let's upgrade them for that. And there's a fire station here, by the way, that I haven't built yet. Uh, something I should definitely take note of in the future. Let's not forget that we are in the in a war, so let's continue pumping out those uh, royal warships. And we get a new influence bonus, the first sea lord. Now that is tempting. Thank you very much. And we do buff our ships with 33% attack speed. Um, that is quite a nice buff there, by the way. And my ships have, have increased in strength with that. Next things that I need to do, um, we need to move that uh, bread industry now. Um, I'm probably going to move it up here for now, right? So this is also just temporary, but it is it is required. So let's do this quick. Done. Now, what? why did I show you that that tedious step of a one by one changing that over there? It is really tedious and luckily with the next big deals in December, we finally get a mass movement. So with that, we will be able to move whole districts, um, well, just by selecting them, just like with the upgrade mode, right? And that should make it a, a lot easier doing stuff like that. Look at the traffic that we have in these warehouses now. Crazy. Let's upgrade some of them even further. This one, this one, that one is really full. Uh, let's 
let's go ahead and have another one then just here of course getting all that bread back and forth now with that uh, i think we are going with another one over there the bread production is secured over there for now um and we have yeah as always plenty of space available so let's get rid of this road there we do have still that road here to connect our warehouses with the harbor area very important to always do this and then we can get rid of that attack. all right just on time just on time what Your happened island is under attack. that was an airship attack once more was it that severe? Consumed by the tide. Holy cow! Because there's no ship close by. A ship was destroyed. Yeah, the clipper was also destroyed in the process. That was an airship attack. That is crazy. All right, all my cannons have been destroyed. That's the the harpies of Miss Hunt. Uh, yes. Well, we do need to we need to add now flag towers to the new world, especially here. This is crazy. I did not expect such an uh, such a heavy airship attack anytime soon. Um, yeah, let's go back to Crown Falls real quick and react to that. Oh, we also leveled up our first export good that I will check then soon. Tethys, Tethys is going to do the trick. Oh my goodness, Miss Hunt, that is that is that is going to be a real problem soon here. We only have sixty tons of weapons though. Uh, what is a flagship, a flag tower costing me anyway? Because we really do need them. Just some weapons there as well, right? Plus uh, bricks and timber. So let's get some more bricks over then as well. And timber. Eh, timber is not that important. But let's just get these over to to my new world. Your harbor is under attack. Big Martinez for now. And yeah, that's the other side of Sohom, where there is the, the attacks now coming in. We should still hold though, because my, my trading post is holding up very well um, in that case. And we also have our fleet close by. So even if she tries to attack, we should still have some defenses left. But those, I mean, this is the first time that I'm playing with the airships really enabled and the, the bombing is severe. So that, that is really a lot of damage. We need to spread them out even further um, once the, the siege is over. Another thing in Catastor, uh, uh, come on, what is that? It's it's still those things there, all right. No problem. What we need to do, we can still continue bumping up our steel production. So let's have three more uh, furnaces in Catastor. And with that, let's also have two more weapon factories over here. I do need more weapon production. We are very short on that, as I've seen just now. And... It is absolutely imp uh, important that we get more of that out. We have some rides here, I think... Yeah, there's a police station over there. Let's just copy this one to speed up those rides. The beating down of those rides, Ready I mean. Madagoose, another royal clipper we need. Uh, we do have another one here. Just use them. Attention, and two more Admiral. warships are here. Where's my other two warships coming out? That's still taking them some time. And let's check it out real quick here, my upgraded good. It's the soap now, so it's a bit more valuable, right? So we can import more potatoes with the soap that we have. And for grain, uh, the sewing machines, that's still a bit further away. But it's also coming along there, so that's that. Uh, we would have another trade contract available, but right now I don't, I don't think we need to import anything else other than those two. So that's fine. And it's still leveling up my trade goods, of course. The only thing that we might do is bumping up my sewing machine production a bit further. I mean, we are pretty full on steel, so it, it can't hurt to do this. Other than my balance, that is a bit of a problem. Balance-wise, though, um, we are going now to expand Crown Falls. We're going now to to get us an, a few more districts, right? We have lots of timber, and this is something I wanted to do for a while now. Um, fish, my schnapps is really fine, my work cloth is really fine, and the fish is also really fine, so we can go crazy on a new expansion for Crown Falls. However, I cannot do this because I see movement in the new world towards Sohom, so she is really trying to take over this island here. We don't have any weapons at the moment, so that's not something I can do. Um, very smart there, by the way. She starts with the... She starts with the um, the airship attacks Workforce to take out my towers, and then she moves in with the fleet. Good and, ready. and do we have any more weapons anywhere in... No, we don't. Let's get the flagship over there too. It has some rum that boosts morale. And I do have my warships, of course. And since the attacks in the new world are intensifying, I will need more warships there too. So do I have still something to spare? Let's take from my main fleet two more ships and get them to the new world. 
still will have those ones available there. Nasty, 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 nasty. This is this is just one opponent. I'm just glad that we're not at war with the others. She's trying to crumble the morale now, of course, for of Sohom to the lowest. We still have a siege here, right? Yeah, that's because she attacked my fisher man. Fleet ready. There, her fleet is moving in. That is just a pirate, right? Yeah, it's not that many ships. It's ship of the lines, too. They're not that strong. One royal warship, one frigate. That should do. But I think she's going to focus the trade post right away to drop that morale below the white flag. Because then my, my island would be ready for, for takeover. And we can't allow that. Moving to coordinates. Let's try to get right into the middle of it. So that we are able to attack them from both sides, right? Yep, we separate them. Very good. And now we are able to fire from both sides of my ships. At least for a few volleys here and there. And the damage was really nice here now. One ship is down already off this hunt. Yep, that just completely crushed her. Next ship is down. And this one also. Let's hope that we do not lose another warship here, though. That one's also down. And the pirate is coming in, though. Also trying to get his share. Yeah, the items are really bad in this run, unfortunately. I was doing a lot better in previous run runs with the loot. But that was successful. Very good. We averted the takeover of Sohom with that. And now I just need to wait for a supply of weapons coming in. And of course we're going to add some flag towers then to this to this map here then ASAP. Unfortunately we are really bound by influence. So I will not be able to, to boost that much. Just get them over here for now. And Rover, I think we have... Yep, let's get for repair up there in the north in Martinez. Uh, we could still try with a bit more diplomacy. Yeah, Bentis is really hard to reach now. Um, I would love to go with an alliance with, with Hugo there. We are very close to that. Even if we're at 100% though, we will not be able to go for alliance. We do need to do some quests for him first. Um, yeah, he's also very strong there military-wise. Miss Hunt, of course, that is just crazy, her military score by now. And unfortunately, there's no way I can do anything with her. I cannot reach her. All right, let's try to let's try to expand for now, though. Um, this is the this is my central area here, right? So we do have the the central park here at some points. So I'm probably going ahead and have a beautiful bigger central park than somewhere here. So I would like to reserve the whole inner area of Crown Falls there for a future building, plus also this side here because there's the avenue then, right? So don't forget that we have this avenue crossroads here more or less junction. Where there should also be then something um, coming up. So lots of space that we need to reserve for now. And around that we can though happily build. So this this I would like to reserve. This is perhaps a bit too big. Let's make it like so. I think that is better. And then we have more space here. And we can use all of this here now for more city expansion. I should say. Yep, that looks good. Let's go ahead.
and there we go yeah, once more sure. another full two districts build now up here in the north of crown falls and yeah here we have then all that space available for bigger buildings than later on also very important that we keep space available for the train tracks that we will have now soon then as well let's go ahead and build actually all of them right away we do have the timber for that 500 tons it costs me um let's have also pub of course and the school right away that we will need soon and yeah people will move in here now lots of workforce is coming in as well um i think we can still we could still go ahead and have more up here then there is by the way our big avenue that will then culminate here in in something else then um and over here we have the train tracks this one that leads Ship then right over here attack. to my oil harbors uh, where is the attacks that's the pirates uh we are not at ceasefire with him unfortunately of course it's not possible at the moment i think miss hunt is trying a new attack by now though i think no my ships have not arrived yet only my 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 weapons have arrived unfortunately there is now a lot of pirates in my area too attacking us directly so at the moment it's two forces working against us it's the pirate and it's miss hunt and miss hunt is using this to also attack now once more we'll take heavy damage now unfortunately with our ships and i think we're going to lose some of them what do we do here mm, nah, i cannot get my my trade ships over there because there's too many pirates and where is my reinforcements they're still only halfway through they're not getting here that soon the fire is out of control. oh no oh no oh no this is going to hurt us i will stay in sohom uh harbor area though because we will use the the defense of my trade post there as well the strength of it it's two ship of the lines one royal warship and one frigate once more ah we do need more ships we urgently do need more ships i've already bumped up my weapon production but of course it's not e immediately that things like that take effect so it's going to take a while for the weapons to come in All right, you old hack, attack. Once again, I'm going right through the center. She should get into the area now of the harbor area anyway, so she will be attacked by my ships then too. And let's let's just stay here then once more to attack from both sides for maximum damage. Very good. She's getting attacked now also from over there. That airship is not intervening. Down. I think we're not losing a single ship here. Is that right? I think it's looking good. Yeah, we're not losing a, sing uh, losing a single ship. That was very bad of you, Miss Hunt, once more. And in that case, perhaps we find something interesting here. Chocolate. She only has food. I do need items. Um, gold bars. A crappy book that no one needs. Nothing, 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 nothing. I think the path is now halfway clear for my ship to get over, please. It's a Royal Clipper. It's fast. It can take something. Take some damage. There's some chocolate again. I get... Um, I'm going crazy. This is not what I imagine of, of, of war loot. Chocolate and potatoes and red pepper is what we get. That's it, though. Alright, my ships are very damaged now. I do need to get my... I think we can actually repair the, the repair crane. Yep. Let's get my ships into the area right away. Move it over. A bit further. And yeah, then we just need to... Get our harbor area cracking. So two flags I'm probably going to do here, right? Let's have uh, two flags there. That are going to protect us against airships. And let's spread them there a bit. So they do not get damaged anymore by by one bombardment because that was just way too easy for her to destroy the whole area and i'm totally going to spread them out there now all right this should this should be much better it's not looking pretty but at least it's spread out and she will not be able to destroy all of them anymore at once all right royal clipper on its way tethys get over there quickly please right now it's open Meanwhile, also my two heavy warships have arrived. Let's get them over to Sohom right away because I think she's actually launching the next attack. And this time it's two royal warships. What is going on? She's get, uh, she's ramping up that, that pressure. The repair crane is now working, I think. Can we afford a second one? We can't. 
don't have enough. We don't have a bricks production Zoham Just either. Reinforcements are coming in, but we're still, of course, heavily damaged here. Ready for a challenge. Get over there. It's very difficult now to get to my harbor area. All right. Uh, let's just unload. Let's build the flag. I'll admit, your people are willing to fight. Let's also build... One flag should be fine for now. Um, and let's build two of these cannon towers. That's all I can afford right now because we do like the bricks again. I think... No, in Martinez we also don't have bricks. We are exporting it, of course. And we can feel that right now. But nothing I can do there short-term wise now. All right. Just Royal Clipper goodbye. leaves again, and in that case here, it's looking a bit better now than before. At least one flag, and two cannon towers, plus, plus the repairing. She's backing off already. I think she's seeing now that we have reinforcements coming in, so Attention problem solved for now, at least, but who knows for how long. Some fires here, of course, that's because uh, we were under siege for a long time. Sieges do deplete morale of islands, and that also leads to to riots within, within the city. All right, by now we can upgrade a lot of buildings um, in Crown Falls, and we should do this because we are very low on money, and upgrading is always a nice step. Plus, we do lack workers, actually. Let's go ahead and upgrade all of these that we've just built, and also these guys here. Oh, and here I forgot. Obviously, road connections. It happens. Go ahead and have these upgraded. These upgraded, very good. Um, and we do have lots of steel beams right now, so I would like to continue by upgrading more to artisans. We can do this uh, by having everything close to the the bank, of course, because that will profit then right away from from the bank influence, which leads to more money. There we got lots of workers. Let's do this. Yeah, very good. We have a bunch more here. Alright, this leads to a nice tax income now. Balance is also fine now for the workforce, right? 5,000 BR plus. And let's go ahead. I think in Catesta we had those rides, right? Oh yeah, but they're almost done now. I will have another police station though over here. Let's just repair those ruins there. Get us that workforce back in. Very important that we keep the worker workforce up at this point because we do need to get the... We do need to keep the industry alive, of course. And... Yeah, coal, we are running out a bit. Iron is still fine. Um, and hopefully also more weapons are coming in. That's just the pirate. Get that royal clipper out of its way. Uh, <laughs> no, she's, she's collecting more ships now. Got so there's a bigger attack coming in. Alright, how many bricks do we need? We're at 24, so I do need at least 40, uh, 50. Very good, we got them. Uh, no more weapons, unfortunately. Let's also take some timber. And let's get all of this over here so we can build two more towers with that. That's going to be important as defense. I'm probably also going to have some flamethrowers because she's also at the moment still primarily using wooden ships. Of course at some point it's going to change and transition into steamships but right now her primary forces are wooden ships and flamethrowers should do nicely with that. Of course we cannot sleep. I wanted to actually get the coffee production up and running but it's not possible. Uh, we do have some queues available, right? Yes, let's go with another royal warship. And uh, it's still the weapons, still the Station. weapons. Three more royal warships we have at least here now. One I'm going to keep, the other two I'm going to reinforce my main fleet with. Because I think Shodix is also her target at some point soon. Uh, we do have some 20 tons of weapons here. Yep, just some steel beams I would need. Ready for a challenge. Right, Tethys has arrived with some materials. Um, let's start building those flamethrowers. And there we have them. Very good. And that's it though, right? Nothing else we can do. The flamethrower was it. And yeah, well, there's the attack coming. Uh, da -da -da -dum. We are... This time though, I think we're going to lose some ships there. Nothing I can do. Let's take them. 
we will have to stick to the the main hub area because there is some defense here for us that helps of course we're going to try and, and rush in the middle again to get that maximum damage Let's try to separate their ships. There you go, right into the center of it. We can fire once again from both sides. Oh yes, that's that's doing some heavy damage to her right now. It's a bit messy <laughs> by the looks of it. We've lost one royal warship. But the losses on her side of course are crazy once more. Ah, and there's also my flamethrower. It has a nice range, by the way. And yeah, her ships got completely crushed. I've lost one ship and my flagship, but that's fine. That was actually a nice, a nice, a nice outcome here. Let's just have a look. Perhaps she's got a bit more this time than just potatoes and chocolate. It would help me a lot to get some proper items at some point. Yeah, it's it's sugar, it's coffee. Resources are scarce. Chocolate. Come on. Sugar. Crazy. Soap. Nothing. Nothing that we can use. Absolutely no chance. Down there, perhaps. Fleet ready. Right. We only lost one royal warship, really. And she lost the whole fleet. That was, that was successful. But of course, there will be more coming at some point. Some point later. No airships for now, though. I think she has backed off there for a while now because of the flag. Get this one back home and my royal clipper. Let's also get it to the repair crane here. And yeah, it's still all depending on the weapons. Weapons, weapons, weapons. We need to get more. I think we do have some more now. Yep, let's build a royal warship. And then we have another one. So two more queuing up right now, but that's not going to be enough. We still need to boost the weapon production. Onwards! Stay tuned. <laughs> 